Because Six Sigma approaches things with a statistical mindset, it considers all problems as a function. Using mathematical symbols, the function looks like this. So, here we have y equal to f of x. Now, we can see this function in two ways and understand it easily. Perspective 1, the problem y is a function of x, where x is the cause of this problem. In other words, x is the function or cause that resulted in the problem y. Perspective 2, the outcome is y when the input function is x. In other words, when the input function is x, then the outcome we get is y. So, what we see here is that the y equal to f of x statement can be used in two ways. First, it is a general map for stating a problem. Why? The problem occurs because some x input or cause is occurring. In reality, y is usually occurring because of some group of causes or inputs, which means there are going to be more than one x inputs. The idea can also be applied to specific processes and outcomes within the problem. As you get more and more granular, the y equal to f of x concept becomes increasingly mathematical, in many cases, you can graph the relationship between the output, y, and the input, x. To understand the concept of thinking of problems as a function, let's look at a problem that might occur for a large HVAC service provider. The manager of a service team has discovered that service calls are taking much longer than expected, in fact, his five team members take 1.75 times longer on average than other service reps in the company to handle all types of calls. To find out what might be causing the situation, the manager researches the problem by talking to the reps, talking to the customers, and going out on random calls with all five representatives. He makes the sum observations like, one representative is a native to the area the team services, which means he or she knows many of the customers personally. This results in friendly chatter that lengthens the time on the job. One representative is providing homeowners with very in-depth explanations and education about HVAC issues, sometimes over and beyond what the homeowner would ever need to know regarding his or her HVAC unit. One representative is new to the job and takes longer to complete each task because he or she is unsure of the work, has to double check the work, or calls another rep to ask questions about the work. The remaining two representatives perform work in times that are on par with company averages. The manager distills their data down to two overall causes for the problem. Cause number one, too much talking, observed for representatives one and two. And cause number two, inadequate training. The problem can now be stated as a function. The extra time is a function of too much talking and inappropriate training. The manager also now has two root causes to address. The example is simple, but it illustrates the basic concept in defining a y equal to f of x relationship for a problem and its causes. It's not always so easy to conduct the research and analysis to find the relationship but the relationship is always present. Some other examples of Y equal to F of X relationships include Low customer satisfaction with hamburger taste is a function of an uncalibrated grill. Low employee morale is a function of a poor time off approval system. Customer wait times are a function of technology distractions for employees.